Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Susmenu Trudeau, and welcome back to Skyrim, where Ben and I have just finished our lovely little picnic. It was a great picnic. I love this picnic down in Riften. Riften, which is just so, so bloody good. Gorgeous. Blimey, I love Riften. Riften is just lovely. We should buy a house here or something. Yes, we're done here with our picnic. It's time to crack on. Back to Riften and back to have a chat with the Yarl. But as the comments have been reminding me, there's something I actually need to go and do first. And that's make a quick trip back up to a much less pleasant part of the world, the College of Winterhold. Now, 50-50 shot whether we're going to have a dragon around here? Nope. Today, today we are good. Marvellous. Now, the reason I want to nip back here is, one, actually, I think I've got a small quest to turn in. Oh, not just one, two, in fact. I need to find Jazago and speak to him about his flame cloak thing. And two, I'm carrying a book for the librarian, or one of many librarians I accidentally cloned with magic. So, you know what? Any of them will probably do. He's back in the snow pile again, isn't he? Right, we may need to clone more librarians. Here's Jazago. Right, so it turns out your flame cloak's useless and kind of murders your own companion, so let's never speak of it again. Oh, Jazago takes this to mean it did not go well. This was not the intention, to be sure. It is true that Jazago was slightly concerned there may have been uh, problems. But you are not placed in Han's way on purpose. Still, you are a good friend to Jazago now for taking this risk. Jezargo thanks you. And indeed, I believe Jezargo can now actually become, yes indeed, a companion. But I don't really want him as a companion. Like, if I ever need a second mage, he's very useful. Because there's not that many mage companions, to be honest. But, like, I prefer my companions to be big and tanky and medium wearing heavy armour. So I can then protect them and heal them up and support them with more kind of, you know, restoration and conjuration stuff. So he's not really perfect. But, potentially there might be scenarios he is indeed useful. But let's leave him for now. And number two, yes indeed, librarian in a snow pile. Don't worry about that. Let's just head up to the library, see if any of the librarians happen to be there. Nope. So many librarians, and not one of them's hanging out in the bloody library. You know what? Maybe I'll just hold off giving him the book. Maybe we don't need more flipping librarians floating around. There's probably already too many. While I'm here, the other thing I want to check is... Basically, I want to nip back here occasionally to check what new books all of the various teachers are selling. Because they sell books a little bit early. So it's possible that they, and especially the Conjuration bloke, might have something good for me now. Because I think, yeah, now I'm over 65... In particular in Conjuration, I suspect I can buy some expert level spells I don't have. Here we are, Close Wounds, that's a new one. Apparently I already know it. Oops. When did I learn that? I can't remember learning that. Yeah, despite the fact that I could very, very easily afford to do it, and it's better than Heal Other, I just haven't... Oh, also, it doesn't say can't heal undead Atronachs or machines. Ooh, I could start healing undead with this. Is that how that works? Could be. You know what, screw it. Favourite it, fine. Right, need to find someone else to buy stuff off. Oh no, I found them! I found them! I found both of them! I think they were actually... Were you guys just sharing a bed? Because that's, that's even weirder. What are you looking at? I'm looking at an orc who was accidentally magically cloned and now appears to be involved in an incestuous relationship with himself. Which is... Okay, fine, maybe I should just try and not judge. Here's the book you were looking for. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. And that gets me... Urag's note and 30 gold. Lovely. Oh wait, no, I think he might have taken Urag's note. Never mind, that was probably just telling me which book to get. Ah, here's where things get a bit more interesting. You, 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 my good man. Illusion Chappie. I might also take some training from you as well. So, one, I've got this um, Close Wounds book to sell. Never been used. Actually, sadly, he's got nothing I didn't already have. But yeah, while I'm passing by, as I find Illusion a little bit slow to level up, technically Illusion's like the easiest to level up, so you need to just run around like casting Muffle over and over, or Courage over and over. But I don't like doing this, I like doing things legitimately in this game, that feels too cheesy to me. So, as I find it a bit slow to level up normally, if you're doing it properly, I am to- Ooh! 1,900 a level! No, no, no! I don't need it leveled up that quickly, that badly, thank you. Now, where's Finnis Watts' his name? Hopefully, because it's night, he's upstairs in here somewhere. Because if he is, that'd be perfect. Okay, finally managed to catch up with a few of them over in their quarters after waiting for a bit. Now, Feraldal. We don't do much destruction magic, but it could be useful. 
Yeah, just in case we ever need a nice big fireball of destruction, fire explosion, 40 points and 15 foot radius for a little bit of splash too. Lovely, we'll take that. And she'll actually give me training for much, much cheaper. Yeah, I'll take five levels of that right now. You must level up to train more. Oh dear. Oh dear, right, okay. Oh, it's across all schools, fine. So it's within this level, I already did five levels of, what was it, light armor. So therefore I can't train at all in anything until I've leveled up again. Fine, okay, I see. I finally found the guy, but I need to use Aura Whisper to do it. He was just hiding around the corner in his bloody bedroom. Right, you better have something good for me. Missing apprentices, I don't care. Just bloody sell me some stuff. Right, don't need Banished Daedra because my Bound Sword already does that. Or it, wait, does it? Did I bother that? Okay, it could do that, it's fine. But this is where things get interesting, yes indeed. Conjure Dramora Lord, the same thing that the Sanguine Rose does, but of course that weighs and this doesn't, so I should totally go over to this. So, Stormy, I'm afraid you might be about to be ever so slightly partially retired. Because under quite a few circumstances, the Dramora Lord's better. Like, Stormy's got the range attack, which is fine. But when it's one-on-one, -on -one, Dramora Lord's probably got the edge. So we'll have that. We'll also have Command Daedra, sure. Just in case someone else decides to summon a Daedra, we can turn it against them. Ooh, and we've got the next level up from Revenant too. Nice, that is a powerful dead body. But, hang on, Dread Zombie, a very powerful dead body. Yep, have that as well. We'll just give you all the flipping money. And Banish Daedra's weakened summoned creatures, whereas Expel Daedra, powerful summoned creatures. Yeah, you know what? I'll have that. Probably won't favourite it, but I'll have that just in case. Beautiful. That's what I bloody wanted to see. Oh yes, learn those spells. Beautiful. So Storm Atronach is a cost 186, Conjure Dramora Lord cost 207. So barely any more, to be honest. That's absolutely fine. So let's just give this a go here. Conjure a Dramora Lord. Check how that all goes. Yes, that uses up maybe two thirds of my magic bar. Summon you and hello there. Lovely. John Dramora Lord. Benor, say hello to your new friend. You two are going to get on like a house on fire. Anyway, that's all we need here. Let's head back down to Riften because there's some stuff I want to get on with there. So, here we are back in Riften. Time to go and give a visit to Mistvale Keep. Very, very dramatic title indeed. By the way, is this rock still a mysterious door that doesn't make... Nope! This rock is no longer a mysterious door that doesn't make sense. Marvellous. Anything else back here, by the way? You've got... I'm assuming this is just like the... Yeah, that's just the barracks. Fine. And then the prism on the other side. Fine, let's head inside. Meet the Yarl. Get... I think it's a her, if I recall correctly. Get her opinion on all of this business. So here we are, and this is actually possibly the smallest keep I've come across yet, which is strange. It looks nice and big, but ah, it's because there's stuff at the back there. There's loads of stuff at the back. So we've got a side room here. Which has just got potentially where, I don't know, some guards prepare. Ooh, there's, oh wait, hang on, hang on. Enchanting, I can, oh yeah, I think I accidentally took my clothes off at one point, forgot to put them back on again. Hang on, that's, okay, did not just make a good first impression on the Yarl there. You know, you could have said something, Ben, or. Now, how many soul gems do I currently have on me? Oh good, I've got a load of lesser soul gems, because I was using my bound weaponry a lot just to kind of fill them all up. Good, because I've got an absolute flipping ton of actual just basic items here that I can just enchant to increase their value, which is marvellous. Four to five, I think Archer is like the most valuable. No, Carry Weight is actually the most valuable, I think. Uh, two, six, three. Just go through all of them. That, ooh, Fortify Sneak? No, Sneak's way better. Okay, fine. We will just go all in on the Fortify the Sneak. We'll just sell these just to increase their value. Beautiful. And also get my uh, enchanting up, which is always useful. I mean, look at this. This gold diamond ring's 900 right now. Just with the application of a lesser soul gem and get that up by another 200. Beautiful. Although if I was willing to spend like a common soul gem, I could get it even better. Yeah, that's way more valuable. Let's just go for that. Beautiful. I'm not sure it actually makes any difference to the amount of enchanting experience. I think like any enchanting is about the same. So no need to waste my common soul gems. I'll use those for recharging my weapons instead. Lovely. So that's up from 120 up to... Yeah, it seems to add like a fixed amount. Rather than increasing it as a proportion of its value, which increases it like by about a fixed amount because the ring went up from like 900 to 1,100. This has gone up from like 120 to 320. So possibly like mass producing cheaper jewellery and then enchanting that with cheap enchantments. That might be the way to go to make the most money most efficiently, I guess. And enchanting 79, we'll probably be able to get that up to 80, which will be lovely. 
Nope, sadly, out of jewellery, and I'm just a little bit shy of 80. But I have been able to level up, which is marvellous, so I can get myself a new perk. It's been a while since we've levelled up, actually. I think we've just been doing some kind of story and wandering around -y stuff. Now, probably need a bit more health, to be honest. I think I'm okay for magic for the time being, so let's get health up a little bit, too. Now, conjuration at 69. What do we need to do there? Cook it up to uh, double the length of time, and then I'm 10 off. Elemental potency, which is definitely what I do when I take the monus available, but that's a little way off. It's not like urgent. Could take the fear spells working high level opponents, but honestly, I never use those. I generally use either calm or the frenzy. But yeah, the frenzy spells, that's 70s, so that's still some way off as well, so don't need to rush to that. Fine. Is there anything that's actually urgent at the minute? I could take the second rank of recovery. That's another 25 percentage points of magic regeneration, but I feel like my regeneration's fast enough at the minute. Again, that's not exactly urgent. Um, already taken adept. Ward absorb, never use that anyway. Respite. Restoring stamina, not bad but not urgent. Right, we're actually in a good place right now, I think. So this is basically just a nice-to-have perk. I could get another 20% on my one-handed. Very, very tempting indeed. Ah, but wait. No, 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 there's something I've been waiting for a lot longer than this. Assassin's Blade. Sneak attack with daggers 15 times normal damage. Yes. Oh, I've been waiting for a good chance to take that one. Oh, yes. And the reason I want to take that one is because I've been carrying around a dagger specially this whole flipping time. This here glass dagger. So, 29 damage, but with 21 bonus points of fire damage. Actually, can you tell me in the comments how the calculation for sneak attack works? Does it take the 29, multiply that by 15, then add the 21 on the end? Or does it take the 29, add on the 21 for a total of 50, and then take the 50 and multiply that by 15, because I was assuming it was going to be the latter, and therefore the enchanting would also be multiplied, but I don't you know for certain. If so, then yeah, sneak tanks with daggers are now ridiculous, and I should probably craft a new one of those, because I've had that for bloody ages, so next time I run into like a good dagger of like any form of good material, I will take that and make myself a new weapon, but that just basically now deserves to be added to my favourites, damn it, because apparently my favourites list isn't long enough, and I know... <laughs> I'm probably really, really upsetting some of you right now with my favourites list, but screw you, I like having all of these in my favourites list. Ah, we've actually got a flipping court wizard here. Hello! No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. Okay, we've got a slightly scatterbrained court wizard, in fact. So what's going on here? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing! Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Yes, that's fascinating. Do go on. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant and universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? Well, obviously, you'd get it to regenerate its own field. Otherwise, it'll end up, like, just very, very tacky and red. So, you know, obviously, how about using... I, I don't... I, look, you've lost... I'm sorry, you've lost me. I'm the flipping archmage of the college, but I'm a fraud, okay? I'm a total flipping fraud. I just basically follow other people around and let them do the work for me. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. Okay, sure. What do you need me to get? What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Okay, couple of those things seem nice and simple. I've probably got a Grand Soul Gem on me right now. Oraculum Ingot, fine, buy those from most blacksmiths these days, but... The other thing, the Dwarven Stirring Spoon, not bloody sure. Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer Spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum Ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. 
Oh, well. Okay, I've been to all those places. I could probably do that pretty quickly. Fine, we'll speak to the Yarl. We might actually do what you want next. Mainly because I like you, because you seem to think I'm a genius for some reason. So that is good bloody news indeed. So we've got... Ah, there's the bloody Yarl, just having a quick bit of dinner there. Hello, who are you? If this isn't about official city business, you're wasting my time. Okay, so you're apparently the son of the Yarl, but you're armed only with a dagger. If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Eh, you know what? I might do it, I might not. Okay, so I've just had a quick word with these two guys. Her two sons, this one's pro-Imperial, this one's pro-Stormcloak. She's pro-Stormcloak, that's useful to know. So if it comes up in conversation, be sure to pretend I am. What's your view about this Black Briar family that claims to basically run the damn place? Also, that was a nice, synchronised getting up there. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim. The Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften Mother. She brings How stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value Empire. to our city. What would you have me do? Okay, right. Over in the hold, they either don't know or aren't willing to acknowledge about the whole murder and corruption thing. Excuse me? Excuse, excuse me, I'm having a... I was having a conversation with that woman, thank you. What about these rumours of corruption? Yeah, the middle it sounds like. Well, actually, it sounds like there's more corruption outside the keep. The keep just seems woefully ill-informed. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Okay. Right, so they are acknowledging those are rumours, but they're pretending it's not You're true. Gotcha. And obviously we know about her stance in the war, she's pro-Stormcloak. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that you don't think the Thieves' Guild is a problem at all. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Right, and we know Maven's actually walking around the streets openly saying, ha ha ha, I've got them in my pocket, we're all working together. So, the city guard is also working with them, because we know after we planted the ring, the city guard arrests that guy straight away. So her own city guard are basically colluding with Maven and the guilds against her. So this woman is a bit out of the loop. Still, I have discovered that skooma dealer in the warehouse. Let's go sort that out at least. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarthus's presence in the warehouse. Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Ooh, how discreetly, because I've literally just picked up a perk that lets me knife people in the back for ludicrous damage. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. Okay, lovely. Got myself that key. Let's go take care of that first up. If I can, let's do it assassin-like. Now, I think you also had a sword you wanted delivered to Harold, right? Uh, yes, I'm here to pick up Harold's sword. We'll get some money off him for that. Lovely. Here's the sword. Tell Harald to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. <laughs> and apparently it's just a basic crappy steel sword. Well, that's not that useful. Right, here we are. And... Were you always there? Or have you spawned in there? Now I happen to be walking past. Hello? Oh, no, no, you're Maul. You were always... Or rather, you were always somewhere. I've spoken to you before anyway. Right. Let's... First things first. Drop a sa... Benor. There's Benor. Right, Benor. You stay out here for a second, all right? I'm going in I'm by myself. I'm going to see if I can sort this out sneaky-like. Okay? Lovely. And if need be, we'll reload and get better with us. But if I can sort it out sneaky-like, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Enter the... Okay, this hasn't gone desperately well. Except it kind of has, because apparently you haven't... He hasn't seen me. How have you not seen me? <laughs> I've literally only taken one rank of sneak. Okay, that's that's fine. Let's get out the flipping knife here. Glass dagger. 
Now, where's that guy? He's going downstairs. If you could just stay... Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Someone there. And nice. Okay. That worked very, very nicely indeed. Except now that guy knows I'm here. So how about you just basically a yeah, lot? You just help finish him off, please. Lovely. So conjuration goes up to a very impressive 70. And at this point, you are... You're a named character, but you're dead now. Right, let's see what these two guys had on them. So, gold and his key. Basic steel stuff. Iron Axe of Fatigue, barely even worth taking with me. Yeah, we snuck that up there. Okay, this new dagger. I'm liking this new dagger. This new dagger's good, damn it. Now, what about you? You were also a named character. You just had basic hide stuff. Oh, you had a basic steel sword and a wood cutter's axe. And I made you take on a Dramora Lord. Right, let's just quickly do a quick check. Ooh, apparently you've got an aura. Right, no one else is alive in here. Good. Crack open this here door. Let's have a look-see round. What have we actually got here? Uh, his satchel. We've got, ooh, a note. A ready shipment. Right, let's have a look-see. Just got a shipment of moon sugar from Morrowind. We're refining it now. Skooma should be ready by the time you get to... Crags Lane Cavern. Well, I've already been there, haven't I? Yeah, I've already been there. That's the place where there was the bar and the, the hound fighting pits, wasn't it? Yeah, all right, we'll take that. That's proof where they're going next. And I'll also be stealing the skooma and the moon sugar. Lovely. So, pretty confident we're now alone. Turns out to have only been two people. And yeah, nice, sneaky, badass, sneaky super assassin, I would say. Very, very bloody good indeed. Right, okay. Now... Round here, round here, nothing else unless there's any good books by any chance. Nope, seems to all be pretty much, I will take some gold however, never turn down some gold. But yeah, back outside, job done, don't worry Benor, I got this. So picked up Benor again, straight back over to our lovely friend the Yarn, our bitch is a little bit on the ill-informed side. And he has been taken care of really sneakily with a knife in the back. And then I summoned a monstrosity from hell to deal with his henchman. But we don't, maybe we just don't mention that bit. That's fine. But I've got new evidence of where it's actually coming from. It's nice to receive good news for a change. Did you recover anything else from the warehouse worth mentioning? Yes, by sheer coincidence, I know where it's coming from. Then there's no time to lose. It won't take long for Sarthus's associates to learn of his death. The source of the poison must be destroyed once and for all. Otherwise, another dealer will simply take his place. Do this task for me, and you'll be well on your way to a title in Riften. Nice! Get myself made. Y'all love it. I will make sure it's done. Because, yeah, you may be a little bit oblivious when it comes to the Thieves Guild and Maven Blackbriar, but you do seem to have a good idea how to deal with the skooma problem, sure. Now, next up, I've got a few things I do indeed need to go around and do for this city. Let's just refresh my memory and come up with a route here. Number one, Crags Lane Cavern, that's very, very close by indeed. But also, her soul gem, her ingot, and her spoon all in one go. Now, if I recall correctly, they were all cities I'd already visitors. There's, yeah. We could go to Iverstead, nip up to Windhold, swing by uh, Windhelm. Didn't she say? No, that was the three. That was the three. And then head over here to Crags Lane Cavern, just to clear out the place I've already cleared out, but I'm guessing some people have regenerated in there. Fine, we'll just do a big loop, that will be absolutely fine. So back over to Iverstead. And we've got something going on. You guys have all got weapons out and you're running. Why are you running? What's... Wait, what? What? What's attacking the town? What is attacking the town? Hello? What's going on? Oh, the bear's still around! Right, okay! The bear, the bear can help, the bear can help, the bear can help, that's fine. Just, you know, go help out the bear. I've summoned a monstrosity from hell to help out. Don't accidentally hit the guards. Hopefully you can't, right? There you go. Oh, yes. I think you've got this sorted. Yes. Oh, you look very good in the dark with your face all in pitch black. That's very bloody sinister. Very good. Now, here we are. Fell Spar, was it? Yeah, Fell Star, sorry. Fell Star Farm, albeit it's locked for the day. All right, fine. You know what? Just because we're lovely and polite, I'm just going to wait till morning so it's open. Now, it does appear to be still locked even during the day. All right, we're just going to have to quietly break in then. There's a, yeah, there's a guard around there, but all right. Let's go thieving, or rather not thieving. We're just getting her stuff back. It's fine. No one in here, right? 
Yeah, looks like it's, yep, nice and quiet, good. Right, get in here and quickly just grab her spoon. That's not stealing, lovely, spoon has been, why does she need a spoon again? I've no bloody clue. While we are actually breaking in though, we may as well do a little bit of stealing. Just a little bit, just for some gold. Right, next up to the very north, Winterhold, in order to get her ingot. I think she said she left that in the bar. Yes, indeed, in the bar, as I suspected. And there it is right there, her satchel. And there's her special ingot, which she needs for some reason. Oh, dragon, dragon, someone just yelled dragon. Dragon. Are we sure? Yep, dragon. All right, fine. Yes, dragon. Right, okay. Stormy, you back up because you're good at dealing with dragons. Right, let's just get ourselves an extra dragon soul here. Chicken, run for it. Right, let's get ourselves some healing hands in one hand and just a lightning bolt in the other. That should be fine. There we are. I can. Oh, it's an elder dragon, but it does seem to be taking a little bit of damage fairly quickly and Stormy will help out. Now, got to keep you guys as alive as possible. Yes, lovely. And as I can't actually hit it with a bow myself, let's just go over to my lovely marked for death skill. Yeah, next time he lands, I'll get marked for death on him. Job done. Perfect. There we go. Got that on him. And now just hide under here for a second. And let's just keep all these guards nice and healthy. And there we are, finally bloody landed. Benner on the guards did a good job. Yeah, if you just keep the guards alive using your own healing magic, one, it's a good way to get your restoration up, and two, they really do help out when he does eventually get round to bloody landing. Spot on, free soul. And fortunately, Birna did indeed run and survive, so that means I can immediately sell all the scales and bones straight to her. Right, and the last stop off for the court wizards there. Yeah, back to Windhelm. Haven't really properly explored Windhelm yet, but I'm sure we'll get round to it sooner or later. The White Farnham, in fact, I've actually been in before. I picked up a quest from them, I just didn't bother to do it yet. It's something to do with, um... Wait, what was it? Yeah, it was taking a potion to find a different potion that's locked away in a... Something, which I should probably go and do because I think I'm stuck with what he gave me in my inventory and it weighs like five So I'm just stuck with a quest item with actual weight on my inventory So I should definitely go and get rid of that at some point still here. We are. There's her satchel. There's her soul gem Lovely right straight back to her then. Oh, no, no, no wait first Crags Lane Cavern marked as cleared But I have to go and clear it again anyway just because yeah, there we are that guy's back again Luckily, I can just toss wait hang on what am I using right now? Make sure it's the right thing. No, 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 no. Dramora Lord. That's more badass. So, cast a Dramora Lord over there. Boom! And you know what? If you, Mr. Bouncer, would like to take on a Dramora Lord and Benor and me simultaneously, you're welcome to try. Don't think it's going to work out well for you. Right, back into the cleared place to clear a second time. Right, Aura Whisper. Because it's silent. Now there's... It feels like there's more people here now than there were bloody last time, but all right, fine. Maybe they've just all come back to life. Right, one Dramora Lord for you. Lovely. And you just basically go and whack him with a big stick. So apparently that guy is in some way... Yeah, for a bandit, you're doing very well against Ben or a Dramora Lord. For whatever reason, you apparently seem to be tough for a basic bandit. That's kind of weird. That's fine. Yeah, you're acting more like a really high-level bandit. That's... Okay, fine, whatever. Ooh, Nordic Greatsword. Those are actually pretty bloody good. I was told, by the way, Nordic's actually, like, more powerful than flipping Ebony. So if I run into, like, you know, a big Nordic Warhammer at some point, I should totally fix that up and give it to Benor. But now, because it amuses me, get out the frenzy magic. Because I would like to... Oh, oh, oh. Never mind, Dramora Lord's just running, decides to go and do his own thing. All right, Dramora Lord, it's fine. It's fine. Go, Dramora Lord, go. And... Boom! Everyone frenzy! Including, oh dear, they're going for me now. Ben or Save me! And then the game crashed. Yeah, actually, you know what? I will say, though the game just crashed, I will say Skyrim Special Edition, I'd say feels a lot, lot more stable to me than, like, the old versions of Skyrim ever did. It genuinely feels very, very stable indeed. And now, there's nothing left but a pit wolf over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to deal with him by calming him. And that there is the problem taken care of because now he's lovely and fluffy and friendly. Or at least he is for the next, like, you know, 60 seconds or so. Actually, I do think the game is basically now holding out and saying, no, it's not done until you've taken care of the last wolf. 
Apparently there's a real concern that wolf might actually restart the drugs trade here. Oh wait, hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, apparently there was someone there. Boo, there was Butcher. Gosh darn, I could have snuck up behind him and knifed him in the back. I didn't realize he was there. Oh, actually, you know what? Screw it. I've already had to reload this one. Let's reload again. Here we are, back a third time. Now, what I need to do is I need to take out this here wolf. Take out this here wolf, nice and quietly. And then after I'm done, we're going to sneak up on Butch and we're going to knife him in the back, all right? Okay, wolf goes down nice and quickly. Can't get to me. Still not detected. All right, lovely. Right, no, no, no. No, no, Benor. Benor, do not go and upset Butcher the Butcher, okay? You, your job is to wait there, okay? You stand guard here and make sure the wolf doesn't get up again. I'm going to muffle up, and we're going to see if we can just knacker this guy. It's going to be beautiful. All right, here we are. This is what we need. Prepare to muffle. Muffle up. Got my dagger ready. Let's get in there. All right, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, the wolves will see me, but you won't. So that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Round the back, round the back, round the back. And... Oh, yeah! Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, then he's going to murder me. Okay, fine. That was good until he murdered me. But I know how to deal with that. I know how to deal with that. One, let's go in without the giant, you know, flashy thing on. Because that's better. Round the back here. And then the moment I've got this first hit in, alright. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And... No, freeze. There we go. Then he's down on the ground. Good. For some reason, we fluffed the first one. But it's okay. So, what we need to do now is now, before he gets up again, before he gets up again, we start prepping, damn it. So, let's just get ourselves a nice... Yeah, Dramora Lord. That's good backup. So, Dramora Lord... Okay, Dramora Lord activated. And now, start getting him up. There we go. Dramora Lord, help out. And at this point, he should be. Yep, caved his face in with a mace. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I don't think you were there last time. I think you've kind of spawned in specially to take care of this. So, that's the butcher taken care of. Lovely. Take myself even more skooma. Help myself to your strong box. You kept literally three gold. Oh, but... Ring of Minor Restoration, I'll take that just to sell down the line. Anything else good here? Cages, money, Nordic stuff. Nordic Battle Axe. Okay, that does 23 damage. Now, Benor, by any chance would you like that? Because I've been told that's actually pretty bloody good. Also, to see if this has actually regenerated any loot as well. Looks like it. Yes, it has. Very nice indeed, in fact. Some good loot and some ebony gauntlets. Very valuable. Next time I get around to doing a round of, uh, yeah, blending some new stuff together for Benor or whatever, that will actually work very, very nicely indeed. Right, Benor. Benor, 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 Benor. Let me see your stuff. Because, yeah, he's got this ebony battle axe fine at 26. So, honestly, at this point, what I should probably do, if I were to improve... The Nordic Battle Axe, I could probably get that up to like 24 or 25. It's not as good, but... Yeah, once I've improved it, if it was like improved to be like plus one or plus two, that might be alright. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just put that on one side, ready for next time I do a bunch of weapon enchanting. I just travelled to Riften, and I've just remembered I gave Benner a hold still order, didn't I? Right, let's go back for the great big meathead. Yeah, there he is. He just decided when I was actually leaving that he was just going to live here now because he's not the smartest bulb in the shed. Here we are, back at the keep, and many things need to be delivered. One, a sword for you. There we go. Got myself a ruby and a garnet. I am swimming in those, you bastard. Right, okay, that's fine. You, I've got your stuff for you too. Here you are, all your items. And I get... The Scroll of the Bane of the Undead. Okay, and a Scroll of Guardian Circle. I think I've got that top one. I think I've got the Bane of the Undead. Scroll of Harmony. That's like a big, high-level calm. Scroll of Mayhem. That one's really useful sometimes. Yeah, I think I've got one Scroll of Mayhem. But having two of those in my back pocket in case I ever need them, that is very, very good indeed. Lovely. Right, and Jarl, I've got some good stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's actually speak to you from the front. That seems more kind of appropriate. Though it will mean I am, like, you know, standing inside a fire. But it still seems like a good idea. So, the Crags Lane operation has indeed been stopped. Twice at this point. So, I guess I might need to go back a third time. But hopefully that's enough. Well done. 
Your continued efforts have been of great benefit to the people of Riften. Allow me to present you with this compensation for your selfless efforts. Well, it's not actually selfless anymore because you just gave me something, but all right, whatever. Steel Mace of Binding, that's okay. That's just a Steel Mace with Soul Trap on it, I guess. So probably not actually that useful. Now, anything else I can do for you, my Jarl? Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd visit us again. I've been informed by my steward that you've made quite an impression in the Rift. Several of our citizens have expressed their admiration. Ah, nice. Uh, she was about to ask me to go and do five things for her citizens to help out as the, one of the prerequisites for becoming the Thane. However, because Iverstead is technically within this reach, as a result, I've probably already hit five because I did basically everything for Iverstead already. And I've helped out the court magician. I've done a few bits and pieces around here. So I've probably already done enough, in fact. Much like Miol, you've become champion of our hold helping people with their difficulties and providing assistance for their needs. As the Jarl of Riften, I feel it's my duty to honor your selfless behavior by honoring you with the title Thane of Riften. I would be honored to accept my Jarl. Before I can present you with the title, there's but a single requirement you must fulfill. A Thane of Riften is expected to maintain permanent residence within the city walls. My steward has such a home available to you for purchase. I think you'll find the accommodations to be most pleasing. When the house is yours, return to me and I will present you the title. Okay, so I've got to actually buy a property here before I'm allowed to become Thane. Hang on just a second, Ben or me need to just have a quick chat about this. Ben or Ben or come over here. So, I know me and you have discussed actually, like, you know, buying property, settling down, setting up a new home. We had talked about doing it, like, right here, but this Thieves' Guild thing. I'm not sure about this Thieves' Guild. We'll, we'll come back later, all right? We need to, like, go and speak to the bank about the mortgage. Let's just, let's just go, Ben. Let's just go right now. Because while I can't deny, I do actually like this city. I think it looks very nice. I think it's nicely positioned. I like the water right there. I like the market in the center. I like the fact it's got like levels to it and the houses are pretty nice. Like I really like Markov, but I don't like the architecture and like the kind of quite oppressive stone houses in Markov. So in some ways, Riften's actually one of my favorite cities in Skyrim. So I would love to settle down here, but I've heard a lot about this whole, yeah, corruption Thieves Guild, connections to assassins, diddly diddly dee. I think before we actually commit to buying a home here, my and Ben or my and Ben's first home together. That'd be lovely. But no, as lovely as that would be, we can't do it just checks. I'm not sure this city's actually safe. So, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna head down and introduce ourselves to the Thieves Guild. Become a proper member and see if we can either sort them out, get them into shape a little bit. Once I'm comfortable with the Thieves Guild being in the city then, at that point, I'd say we're probably ready to actually buy some property, become a Thane, and then after that we shall see what comes next. But for the time being, we just need to focus on the Thieves Guild. And that's coming up soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh no! Oh dear! America's decided they do not like us! Just want to finish off China, I can die happily. Well, not happily because there's nuclear fire involved, but moderately happily. There we go. I've just started. Oh, God. The Earth was fun, wasn't it? We can all agree the Earth was great.